So I guess to, to zoom out a little bit then, you've been running Bitcoin marketing for how long now? Four years? Almost, yeah. Yeah, so, and that will put you back to the beginning of COVID when, when you launched Bit. So what have you seen change over the last four years in terms of customer demand for your services? Like when people come to you, what are they, are they now looking for different things than they were during COVID or is it just accelerated and speed at the same place? Customers have seen, well, customers for us have definitely clearer idea of what, well, uh, no, actually, they either have a much clearer idea of what they want and a very specific specification, which may or may not work. And then it's our job to unpick it and put it into something that is vi uh, as campaign viable. Um, or they have no idea what they want, but they have a very specific problem and they're much better at articulating that problem than they were. So typically it's, and actually one of the key things is, is around leads. We aren't getting any leads. We don't get leads. We aren't getting leads. We don't have how to get leads. It's like, okay, right. Well, marketing is now becoming much, much, uh, especially within smaller businesses, it's much more, we want leads. We need leads. We need them now. And it's trying to educate people around the necessity for consistent and well-performing campaigns that build up trust with your audience. And actually, long-term, they do generate what they want. But there are several stages within that before you get to the end result. You can't just have something, you can't just turn something on today and have it deliver 100% of what you want tomorrow. Not unless you're going to throw an awful lot of money at it.